Hey there, Jill here. How are you going? Um, just waiting for the rain. <laughs> if you're in uh, any other state apart from Victoria, you're probably sick of rain. But seriously, we need it. But thanks to some very farming, look at what we have here. <laughs> and boy, are they tucking in. So we've got a, a little oasis here for my use. This is actually one of a couple of little um areas that we have seeded out and the ewes are ju I've just literally put them in here and they're um yeah they're loving it which is just really really amazing the other little area um that we have uh that they can really enjoy and I can just see the difference because it's pretty dry here um but the other little area that we've got that we use is something that we've trialed uh a few times and it's a little avenue of artichoke, uh, Jerusalem artichoke. And it's just been quite amazing, actually. So I'll just take you through and, and just to see. Now, this one has been reasonably neglected this year and it's been a tough year, you know. But again, it's just this whole area here and the horses did get into it and the horses do love it. But I've just opened it up so they can actually get in there and feed. These were just tiny, tiny little miniature little things little tubers that i planted a couple of years ago two three years ago 2019 october 2019 i planted them and they've just sprouted and spread now they really are quite invasive so you do need to bear that in mind if you do think about growing jewel tomato jokes but this is one of our concepts to drought proof our farm we've got the tagasasti which i think i showed you um before and then this is jerusalem artichoke so I mean, again, this is a pretty poor, poor specimen, but they can grow really, really tall and they can look like sunflowers. So they can grow like that. Um, but they've done all right. Like here's a really tall one over here that the horses didn't actually attack. They would be much taller, actually, um, despite not getting much water. But you'll see, you know, here, this is a really good um, example of what they should be even these ones over here that haven't actually been fenced at all this was a little bit, bit of bare ground and we just popped a few in here and um listen tomorrow this won't be here so i might take you back and show it to you um after the use um have come and gone but they're really enjoying that other little that other little spot um at the moment which is really good and it's just a bit of a a bit of a relief for them they're um they're doing it pretty tough as uh yeah, as a lot of animals probably are at the moment. But yeah, fingers crossed for some of that Queensland rain to come down here.